God damn, there are so many different customs. I'm going through my bank trying to find an outfit for this video and oh my god. If you guys are new to Dreamscape, you'll be greeted in the chat with a message asking you where you found the server. If you're coming from my videos, be sure to select YouTuber and then type the referral code EGGY for a free tactical box. They're worth about $6 on the shop and I should give some awesome rewards. So with this actually being my first video on Dreamscape, I wanted to hook you guys up with a massive giveaway. So the first comment today is actually won themselves two of the tactical boxes. Once again, they're worth about $6, and if you guys want a better chance of winning the first comment prize on every video, make sure to enable post notifications by hitting the bell down below. And I think you guys are really gonna like this. I not only have five of the new Halloween 2019 boxes, but I'm also adding five more tactical boxes and five dynamic boxes to today's giveaway. So five random commenters down below are gonna win one each. And if you guys wanna enter, all you have to do is like the video, comment your in-game name down below, subscribe to my channel and make sure to enable post notifications because on every video the first commenter gets a prize also guys make sure to join my discord using the link down below as that is where i post every video's giveaway winners i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it this video is going to be a good one guys i've been really looking forward to actually making it i've had a lot of fun on this server it's packed with content and seriously think you guys will like it so be sure to stay tuned skip through the video if you need and make sure to check out dreamscape by using the link down below anyways some of you may know i did a first impression stream of dreamscape earlier this week and i absolutely love it. The stream itself actually ended up being one of my longest streams in quite some time. I had so much fun. A lot of you came by and checked it out with me. So today I'll actually be releasing a server tour for anybody interested in checking out Dreamscape. My plans for the tour are going to be laid out as so. I'll be starting out with a little bit of a home tour for you guys just to show you around. Then I'll do a quick rundown of the shops. And then after that we're going to be doing a huge rundown of all of the bosses and all of the monsters on Dreamscape. Some other things I actually really want to touch on in this video is going to be the Wikipedia, the Battlegrounds, their market interface, their upgrading system. I also want to pop by the arcade and take a look at the recent updates. I know Dreamscape is unbelievably packed with content. If I were to go through everything that the server actually has, the video would literally be like an hour and a half long. The server has been out for over five years and during those five years, Dreamscape's always been the number one custom RSPS. Like I said guys, I'm actually really looking forward to this. If you haven't already, make sure to log on to Dreamscape. But starting off guys, we're going to be teleporting home. So, this is Dreamscape's home, as you can tell with the big DS on the floor. Honestly, it does look pretty nice, it's nice and spread out, and it is actually pretty new player friendly. Starting off guys, the home portal is where you can either teleport home to the bank, to the altar, the games room, or the shops. And essentially what this is, is the home bank is south, the altar is going to be north, over to the east is the games room, and then west is the shops. I'll go over these a little bit more after I do a little bit of a tour of the home, but as you can see, first off we have the Iron Man NPC, every RSPS has to have one. Here's something that's actually super cool. You can talk to King Percival and he'll tell you how many NPCs have been killed in Dreamscape. So at the moment, nearly 153 million NPCs. That is actually insane. Five years of playtime. Next is going to be the milestone rewards. You can buy yourself things like the comp cape, the max cape, all the milestone capes, as well as the starter set. And moving on is going to be a huge one on Dreamscape. Speaking to him, he actually has a really clean custom interface. You can grab tasks, teleport to your task. And if you guys don't know, you actually do need to prestige to open up these shops. If you guys don't know, you do actually need to prestige your slayer to open up these slayer shops. But opening up those for you real quick. If you like, you can pause at any point in time to actually look at these shops. A bunch more goodies in here as well. I love the flame tour, it looks so nice. And for the third one, a bunch more goodies once again. Of course, we have the character customizer and the lottery manager. And the last thing of the home is going to be the daily task manager. It's pretty much as simple as it sounds. You grab yourself daily tasks. You can grab easy, intermediate, hard, and expert tasks for some decent rewards and something to do. Next, guys, coming back over to the teleport portal, the first place we're going to be going to is actually the altar. You can either click on the portal there or type in colon colon altar. But as you can see, we have the fountain over here. You have a few altars to change your prayers and the Halloween event of 20. 19 on dreamscape i am really looking forward to doing a video on that also on dreamscape you can pretty much instance any boss which is super handy because a lot of things do get packed there's also different mini games like the falling stars the immortal stone altar which i'm actually not sure what is but you can open up thread 15882 to read up on that and all the way back over here we got a pile of npcs so we have pikachu spongebob some charmanders and some luigi Next, we're going to be going east or over to the games room. Over to the east is the battlegrounds, which is something that I'm actually super excited about. I had a lot of fun on stream playing the battlegrounds, but there's also the YouTube advisor, which I think is actually a really cool concept. So hello, I'm the YouTube advisor on Dreamscape. How can I help you? How do I become an official YouTuber? Who can I speak to about starting my channel? Are there threads to help me? And what rewards can I get for making videos? Dreamscape actually gives you guys a lot of incentive if you're interested in actually starting your own channel. There's also the event billboard to see any events that are actually happening or happening soon. The arcade, which once again, I'm definitely looking forward to going over. 
over. The arcade's honestly super fun. At the end of the hall, there's the scoreboard for all the NPC kills, slayer tasks, clue scrolls, gambling, elo, arcade competitions, the arcade timing, and the hell arcade completions. So there's some competitive incentive for you guys. But back over home real quick, using the portal and coming over to the home bank. This is my main hub where I do my banking at, just because it's a clean looking bank, and the fact that there's a the crystal chest over here. But that's about it in the bank. There's also a collection chest for all of your lost items. But the last thing on the home tour is going to be the shops. I will briefly run through these for you guys. You can pause the video at any point to see any specific shop and actually look through it. But I do have to go through this really quickly because there is a lot of shops. The next thing guys is actually going to be massive to me. I've never seen an RSPS with this before. <coughs> this is going to be the Wikipedia. I don't know how, but Dreamscape actually has a full Wikipedia with over 1900 pages. So literally anything in game you can type in colon colon wiki and then anything you want to know. So for example pets, like bro this is honestly insane. I'll link this down below if you guys want to come check it out, but honestly the Wikipedia is fucking cool. It is such a unique and such a helpful aspect of the server. Look at this guys, Dreamscape Wiki, 1934 pages. It looks so cool so you have the bestiary. Let's open up this. Every single monster on Dreamscape, holy shit there is a huge list. Every single boss with a boss guide, raids help, wilderness help, that's just in the bestiary. Frequently asked questions, we have the skilling, price guides, money making guides, mini game, we have gear, we have all the dreamscape media. Seriously, the wiki is such a good idea and honestly amazing, especially for any new players. Once again, I'll link this down below if you want to come check it out. Also guys, I know this is a little bit different, but I really like the fact that dreamscape on their client actually has working shortcuts. So you have the website here the forums, you can vote, Dreamscape's high scores, you have an XP tracker, you have the Wikipedia search, you can use the market on their client, you can also open up the DSGO page, the donation page, the update notes, their help, as well you can open up your bank. And another quick thing, their player-owned shops are my favorite player-owned shops. Everybody knows how to use them. They're simple, they're clean, and they work perfectly. This is the perfect way to actually integrate a market into your server. You have featured shops up at the top and you have all the recent shops down below. You can also search by name for anybody's specific shop or search by items. So for example, let's see what's in a sperm dipper shop. Holy shit, yo, how much is your lava minigun? 777 million DS coins. Christ. Another really cool aspect about Dreamscape is the upgrade chest. You can actually get here by typing in colon colon upgrade and then opening the upgrade chest. But as you guys can see, there is a huge list of upgradable items. You can even upgrade your Dragor offhand. You can upgrade the Royal Sickle, the Ice Katana, upgrades into the Golden Katana, things like your Assault Rifle, the Soul Flare, Space Jam Sword. There's actually so many different items on Dreamscape that can actually be upgraded. And a lot of these even turn into the end game items. And some of the things on here are even starter as well. So for example, the, the ice katana, the gold chain, some of these starter armors are all things that are easily accessible. Like I did say earlier though, guys, I do want to check out the arcade. It is such a fun mini game with some insane rewards. Sadly, I can't take my one hit items into the raids and I am going pretty fashion scape, but essentially you're thrown into the inferno and waves of NPCs are spawning for you guys. But you guys saw from the shop, it's actually pretty broken. And it's a really cool concept. Like, there's a lot of different NPCs in here. And there's a lot of different waves. So, since I have my BFGs and they're extremely strong, I'm going to do a little bit of AFKing inside of the arcade. And a few minutes of AFKing later, and I have myself 600 arcade tokens already. Like you guys saw earlier, this shop is really strong. And this minigame is really AFKable. I just thought it was a cool concept that I really wanted to show off for you guys. And I guess finally, we're going to briefly go over every single boss that Dreamscape has to offer. Opening up the boss teleport pages and starting off, we have the Oblivion Dragon. A really clean custom dragon that drops the Oblivion Scythe and the Oblivion Set. Of course, we all know Bandos. We got Barrel Chest as well, dropping the Ice Katana, which is actually a really good starter weapon. You can kill the Dragon Bone for the Spirit Shield and the Armor Pieces. The Forgotten Warrior for the Prime Torva. The Sea Troll Keen. The Sea Troll Queen. 
You have the Bork boss. Bro, there is so many different customs and custom bosses on the server. There's the Tormented Demons on here, of course. And the Phoenix. I love the Phoenix whip and I love the Phoenix pet. There's also the Icy Skeleton, which is actually a super strong boss. This gear is really good as well with the staff. Moving on, there's the Shadow King dropping the Shadow Set, the Chaos Elemental with a huge drop table, Venonatus, Scorpia, Vedion, and Callisto. Moving on, there's still a huge list to go, guys. There's the Mage Grey, the Flame King, Flame Pernix, Flame Virtus. There's also Nex, KBD, Corporeal Beast. There's the Necromancer. The model for this thing is insane looking. Also, there's Olaf. There's Grudon. Like I said, there are so many customs. I think that's actually a Pokemon. There's the Revenants. There's the Guardian of Amorth. Zelra, Cerberus. There's a Diglett. Bro, that's my favorite. Abyssal Sire and Hades. There's still a list of monsters. There's still a list of raids and mini games to all go through. Like I said, guys, with five years of content, Dreamscape is fucking packed. There's honestly so much to do. Of course, I can't really go through it all in one video. The video would be extremely long, but I am super looking forward to starting a series on this server. I've been playing for a few days and I'm already having so much fun. Like I said, guys, Dreamscape update number 124. There has been so many updates on this server. It's actually insane. There's eight fucking pages. Real quick though, opening up Dreamscape update number 124, the Halloween event. As some of you guys know, Halloween being my favorite time of the year, the long-awaited Halloween quest is here on Dreamscape. After asking Jack the Scarecrow what's the issue, he will ask you to go look for the witch. She's in Draenor Village, and then go pick up the cat for her. Pick up the cat and go talk back to the witch, and the witch will hand you some items to bring back to the scarecrow. Simple as that, the quest is completed. You've actually got yourself the jack-o'-lantern mask, a broomstick, a million scavenger XP, and five million cash. Also guys, the Halloween boxes. I am giving away five on this video, so make sure to enter. But opening up the boxes, you will be giving one random cash up to 20 mil, one Halloween themed cosmetic, one random award of PVM gear, and a rare chance to get one of the two Halloween themed one hit stat items. Custom and textured the brand new Forgotten Olaf scythe and the Halloween mall. That's not even all, there's a new pet, there's some new donation rewards, they've revamped their voting, and another huge list of notes. That was one out of 124 updates on Dreamscape. This is definitely gonna be fun boys. Anyways, that's it for the video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I try and keep my server tours kind of short for you guys to actually enjoy them, but I seriously think you guys should come check out Dreamscape. I've already had so much fun on it. There is a huge amount of content and a huge amount of people coming back to it. Dreamscape is the number one custom RSPS. If you guys are new to the server, be sure to use me as your refer to get yourself a free tactical mystery box. Don't forget to enter the juicy giveaway just like always and to join my discord using the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and later! Thank you.